three years ago, Laura McManus was 39, recently divorced, and ready to start the second act of her life. So naturally, she decided to try out to be a Cincinnati Bengals cheerleader. I mean, who wouldn't? Took her a couple of years, a couple of auditions, but now at 42, she is the oldest cheerleader in the NFL, and her inspiring story of following her dream is about to become a feature film. Laura McManus is with us this morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm well. This is such a great story. Thank you. Walk us through a little bit how you got here because all of a sudden you say, you know, you got married pretty young. You'd been in an abusive marriage for 16 years. Yes. You wake up one day and you say, enough's enough. Exactly. And you know, a lot of women are in abusive marriages and you don't realize what it does to your self esteem and what it does to just your personality. You just shut down. And I think after that long of a time and I've had enough. I knew that I can't live like this the rest of my life. I have to do something and it has to come from within. So I decided to just reach down and say, what well, makes me feel good? And it's dancing. I danced since I was three. So I thought, you know what? I need to get out there and dance. And I went to a football game and saw the girls down on the field and said, I think I can do that. And you, and you can. It took you, we mentioned it took you a couple years to make the cut. Yes. But I mean, the first time you went out there, you made it all the way through to the final round. With all of these girls who are, yeah. who are 20 years old, that has to be a huge boost for your self-esteem. It was a huge boost. It was kind of like a healing process because as you go through there, there's all these beautiful women and, you know, am I too old? Am I too short? Am I too this, too that? And you really have to look and say, you know what? You're fine. We all bring something to the table. And these women, nothing to be jealous of. There's something to be welcomed into your life. And they are beautiful women. I'm friends with a all of them who are on the team, they're just so great. But it definitely helps your self-esteem and kind of get you back. Yeah. You're doing what you love and that's what we all have in common. How did you get to that point though? Because you were at such a low point in your life. I mean, you found some joy again through dancing, also through your two daughters who are now 14 and 12. So obviously important to stay strong for them. Absolutely. But how do you go from, you know, not feeling very good about yourself to putting yourself out there in terms of trying out to be an NFL cheerleader? That's no small feat. It was definitely a process that I had to really internally redo the way I thought about myself and the way I think about myself and talk to myself. There's a lot of fear out there and I think a lot of people live their life with fear and you just have to let it all go and start talking nice to yourself because we just don't and when you do you just kind of start coming about and that's what happened. This is a grueling job for you to have. And this is, I mean, you, you have a day job. Of, you know, you're a dietitian, you're a registered dietitian, you're very busy. As we mentioned, you have two girls. This is a serious commitment for you. Yes, it is. Yeah. I have to juggle a lot of rely a lot on family and my boyfriend, he takes care of the kids a lot too. They're, they're old enough now. They're cheerleaders as well. So we, um, they're busy social life too. Do but. you practice together? Uh, actually, we do. do. Yeah, they critique me on how I look That's and my great. facial expressions. So yeah, no, they definitely help me. What did they think when you said girls? I'm gonna go try out. I'm gonna be a Bengal. They were a little nervous because they were a couple years younger, but they were like, what are you doing? And I think everybody thought it was a midlife crisis, but as they kind of see me transform and kind of get my personality back and become a better mother to them, they definitely are just so proud. And they get to come to the game, so they think it's great. What's the best part for you about being a cheerleader? The best part is definitely the relationship with the girls. Brandy, one of the girls on the team, is just my best friend ever, and we're so close, and just the sisterhood of it all, and the fact that we share what we love to do, which is dancing and performing for the fans. Does it bother you at all that the people are constantly saying, hey, she's 42, <laughs> she's the oldest cheerleader in the NFL? <laughs> Actually, it doesn't bother me at all. If there's one person out there who's inspired by my story to just not have fear rule your life and not have what people tell you, break your self-esteem down just you need to get out there you just have to get out there and dream big or it's not going to happen your this story is now um, going to be made into a movie yes. any thoughts on who should pay, play laura vickmanis oh my gosh it <laughs> the game to, we all play right? i know it has to be someone who talks with their hands and goes like this a lot because i do that a lot at practice so okay. i have no idea no one in mind <laughs> no you, you've said in your in your bio and i think it's on the on the page for the uh for the chillers on the website that your role model is your mom yes uh, you think you're a role model for your girls at this point? I would hope I am. You know, you have to fail to learn how to do it again and do it better. And there's always failures in life, and you just have to get past the fear of failing again and pick yourself up and move on. Great role model for so many women. Lastly, before we let you go, uh, any concerns about the NFL lockout? Oh, gosh, I hope we play. I know we're going to play. We have to. I We don't worry about it. We're going on as usual. Okay. We have to. We're out there for the community, not just... Just for the game, we do so much more than that. So we have to be there for the fans. Great to have you with us. Thank Such you. Such a pleasure to meet you. We're looking forward to the movie, but, but looking forward to, to more of you before that, Laura. Thanks. Thank you so much.